Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today in this fresh video, we are going to unbox a new robotics kit and it is provided by a manufacturer called MakeBlock. And these days MakeBlock is getting very popular in Southeast Asian countries. So this is not a complete kit from the MakeBlock, but it is a, a part, a small part of a big uh, robotics series actually. So what I'm going to show you today is called as a CyberPy and it is basically a unit which has a microcontroller and this unit can be attached with a wide variety of robots that are provided by the make block let's start unwrapping and then we will set up this for the first time usage so just removing the packaging and uh, this particular unit is called as uh, CyberPy. That's what the name of this particular plastic unit is. I'll just keep this aside for now. And uh, this is a rechargeable battery. So this unit provides the battery and this is where it connects with the CyberPy. And here we are provided with some input and output ports. So you can power the motors, you can power the servo motors by the help of these connection ports labeled as m1 and 2 m2 s1 plus minus s2 plus minus so later in the tutorial series when i show you how to use these robotics kit i'll explain what these particular ports are and here we have some holes by the help of which you can actually connect it with their uh, other m bot to another type of robotics kit so in the kit we have this hub plus the rechargeable battery uh, the CyberPy itself then we have some screws here nut and bolts by the help of which you can assemble both of these units with their cyber uh, with their make uh, mbot 2 uh, here we have a servo motor now th this is not a simple motor but a servo motor so those who are already familiar with the concept of the simple and the servo motors uh, they know what is the difference and if you look closely if you look inside you will find the set of gears okay and these are the set of gears that actually provide a very uh, precise movement so you can see it's making some noise which is coming because of the gear box inside this and because of the gear box uh, you can very precisely uh, move this uh, motor okay so this also comes with this uh, basic unit and then we have a USB A to USB C cable by the help of which you can power the CyberPy. And here we have some documentation. So here you can clearly see that what all are the parts here on the CyberPy. So, so let's look at the component. So here at the top you have the joystick, okay, which you can move up, left, middle and down. And also it is a clickable button. So you can also click the joystick, it works like a button here. Then there is a light sensor. So just right over here, you can see there are two sensors. So one of them is actually the light sensor. And then there is a small opening. And the one, the second sensor that is just below my fingertip is the microphone here. And then we have a small colored LCD screen on which you can display by the help of the coding. It is also equipped with a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so it can connect with the Wi-Fi and you can actually do some nice uh, IoT programming with this. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity is also provided. Then we have a gyroscope plus accelerometer. So these sensors can be used for making the code, the program. And then at the base here, the white strip that you see, this is actually uh, one LED strip. Okay, so there are five small LED lights and you can control these lights by the help of the coding again and on this side we have a USB port and this is where you will connect the USB cable to power the device if you are not using the battery pack okay this is optional you can connect the CyberPy directly with your computer so this is the port which we will be using for connecting and then you have the home button here so if you want to return back to the home screen in the menu system so this is the button that we are going to press okay and then behind we have uh, mbuild interface so if you are having other 
robotics kit from the make block so this is the port that you will use to connect the cyber pi with their other units okay so this is this is a port for the uh, make block uh, connectivity and this is it at the bottom you can see the pins where this battery socket will connect just like this and it will power the cyber pi so for now i'm and also you have these two buttons a square button and then we have a triangle button this is this is the button a and this is button b so button b is the ok button which is over here and this arrow is actually the back button so if you want to go back into the menu system you will press the triangle and if you want to give the ok command and then we will press the square button so the joystick two buttons here led strip uh, the port with connecting with other cyber robots a usb connection and the button to go back to the home screen so that's all we have here okay let's start connecting it and let's power up it for the first time so what you need to do is you take these two units that's the battery unit and this is the cyber pi just put it over here like this and just gently press and both of these units you know now they are combined and on the battery pack we have this on off button here so right now the battery is switched off so i'm just going to push this button towards the on state and now you can see this LED is blinking and the CyberPi is alive for the very first time. You can see the branding of the company, Make Block. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to choose the language. So you can use the joystick to go up and down into the menu system. Okay, looks like we have the option of the Chinese only. I guess this is the language button. Okay. So let's choose the English language. So you can see my Mandarin is also very great. Let's press the English option. And now our menu system is changed into the English language. So you have restart, program, settings and help. So let's go to the settings button. And then you have the language option, update, about CyberPy, reset the CyberPy. And if I press on the triangle button, now you can see it is going into the menu checking for the update and if I press the square button it will take me back to the menu okay so let's go back and see what programs do we have on the cyber pie right now all right so we have the voice reactive program rainbow lights let's let's uh, try the rainbow lights so I'll bring this here on the rainbow lights and press the ok button all right i think i need to press the joystick and as soon as you select there is a trigonometric function and then you can see that the led is also blinking at the bottom okay and you can actually draw by the help of the pixel manipulation on the screen let's go back okay so if you want to exit the program you need to press the home button here so as soon as i press the home button we are back to the main menu now let's again go to the program there was a program i see voice reactive so i think it is using the microphone so let's click on the voice reactive and press b to start okay so let's press the p button which is the triangle button and now you can see that the cyber pie is actually reacting to my voice a uh, small graph is also shown so let me just come closer and speak so you see when i stay quiet it will stop responding and as soon as i start talking you can see there are there is activity at the bottom and it is also showing a kind of graph so let's press the home button again and it will take us back to the main menu let's go to switch program you have magical recorder rainbow lights kaleidoscope happy counting mbot2 demo because this unit can be connected with the mbot2 also actually mbot2 works by connecting this so let, let's see what is kaleidoscope so i have selected the program and that's the starting screen kaleidoscope you can draw all these things by the pixel art and I think it is just going to draw these figures on the screen 
as you can see kaleidoscopes are being drawn okay let's go back to the home screen let's try another program magical recorder okay so press the joystick to start all right so let's press the joystick press a to stop and right now it says that it is recording okay uh, i'm not sure what it is recording right now so let's press the a button and then it says press b to play the recording okay so let's play uh, press b which is the triangle button Okay, so, so so that was a recorder program, it recorded my voice because there is a microphone also built into this unit. So by the help of that microphone, it has recorded everything. Alright, so that is pretty much about this uh, CyberPy robotics unit. Uh, in my upcoming videos, I'll show you that how we can program this uh, servo motor, how we can use it and we will do some fun stuff with this. I will also take you to the software of the CyberPy. Uh, by the help of which we can upload new programs into this and make use of you know all the sensors the gyro sensors and everything all right this is it uh, for this video so that's all we have in the kit for the cyber pie and i will see you in the next video with some programming some software configuration of the script thank you for watching